So I can start working on this vocal. The whole world. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll utilize, I told you before how we can utilize our center and return effect. But remember our insert effect that we used uh, when we recorded tracks? Remember how we could apply that to the playback of a track? This is really, really useful. And because, uh, well, inversely, when we use the insert effect before, remember how we can use it over and over again? You can set up to a distortion to when you track your distortion, uh, your uh, electric guitar, you can set it to a bass effect when you're laying down your bass line, right? So you can use it over and over again. But on mix down, if you don't use it, it's just sitting around there. Why don't you use it? Here's a trick, you can only use it once. So which of the tracks would I normally apply it to? Absolutely, the lead vocal is king in my mix. So I would use it on here. So insert effect. You remember that uh, we just press it here. We can go through the various ones here. I do not want distortion on my lead vocal unless you have a special effect that you're after. Go through here, there is a special, uh, well, I think I just passed it up, was it? Yeah, mic. <clears throat> so I can turn that on and off. And if you go down to the, I think it was the, that's right, the input source. Remember that can, be applied to your inputs, but we're mixing down now. I don't want to do that. I want to go through all the tracks here and ta-da, place it on my track five. Hit enter there and exit. So here's the deal. Now with that insert effect applied across track five, we can scroll through these presets and hear what would be good for our, our lead vocal. I don't have to cry the whole night through. I mean, if you, if you need a special effect, then you can do that. And remember, that's not recorded on that track. We're inserting it, placing it across track five. So we can just, you know, none of these effects are recorded. If this was placed on an input as we're recording, then it would be on that track. But right now we're using it on the playback of a track. So let me just scroll through and see if I can bring up a, a mic effect that will uh, help this vocal kind of sit out in the mix. Hold on, on my shoulders. Listen, All I've I'm gonna A B do. in and out. All I've gotta do. And it gives a bit more punch there. Let's see if Let's I can get a little bit, bit of better one. I'll wait for this uh, to loop around. I don't have to say. Oh nice, I like that one. Check it out. The whole That's with it. That's without it. I don't have to cry the whole night through. Yeah, sounds like there's a little bit of compression, a little bit of EQ on there. That will help pop that out of the mix really well. So you get the idea about insert effects. It's really great. And you can use it as many times when you're recording, but when you're playing back, you can only use it once. So it seems to make sense to place that on the playback of your vocal track. So we'll get out of this guy here. We'll go back into our pan and EQ. And um, I don't think I need to EQ this at all. That um, insert effect is doing a good job there. Reverb send, it's probably a little drowning in reverb, we'll see. The burdens of the world on a... A great way to check whether your reverb tail is too long is just to stop it and hear just uh, how that um, vocal dies away. On my... Probably a little long, right? So we can bring that down. My shoulders, all I've gotta do, all I've gotta do. Okay, so that's sounding pretty decent here. Now let's add some bass and uh, see how that goes. Just take care of you. As it loops back around. I don't have to say. Definitely don't want to have any reverb on my bass. Um, you know, the bass sounds pretty decent the way it is. If you like, you could go down and, um, sorry, go up from here and you could um, uh, EQ this a little bit. If we want to add a little bit more low end on there, then you could boost that. I think the bass sounds pretty good it is. And I'll bring up the keyboard. The whole world, I don't have to cry. The whole night. That yeah, sounds pretty decent. Let's go over to the other tracks. So I have some guitars over here. The 
hands of the world.